We spoke to you at London Film Festival yeah, when yeah, you were uh, debuting the film and everything yeah, yeah. else. You must be delighted with the reaction you've had from then and up to now. Yeah, it's been great. Um, you know, you always hope when you make a film that it will translate in the way that you've intended. And and I think this, you know, this has. It's had, um, you know, it has a big impact on the people who see it. And I feel like, you know, if it hadn't, we would have failed somehow, given the subject matter. We had to really, that's what we were going for. And I hope that's what we achieved. There's a real visceral nature to this. I mean, what was the biggest challenge for you as a filmmaker to kind of get that visceral sense uh, on the screen? Yeah, I mean, that's always difficult because it's easy to talk about and hard to achieve, you know, and everybody has to be completely committed to that. So, you know, there cannot be a moment where, you know, any of the actors or the supporting actors or any of the crew are not in that moment because you're trying to create something that feels very, very real and authentic and no one can smell a rat, you know. Um, so yeah, that does take a lot of work, but and it takes everything kind of working together, I think. It takes the script that the actors engage with, and it takes actors who are willing to go that extra mile, and crew members who are willing to work in that way as well, to shoot with natural light, or shoot in real locations, or shoot when it's freezing cold, or, you know, all of those, or, or with Laurie Rose, you know, shoot only using candlelight um, in, in the dugout scenes. And, you know, that takes, it just takes like a, a lot of commitment individual and combined. There's quite a, I say a renaissance, but there's, there's quite a lot of war films at the moment, you know, we've had Darkest Hour, Dunkirk for yeah. two, and obviously now with Journey's End, but one. I mean, just, is it important now for the new generation to kind of know about these stories? Because for this kind of story, there's not many people alive to tell the story, if you like. No, there's not. I mean, I think this is a different kind of um, story, actually. I mean, I think where, you know, some of the ones, some of the films that reach back into the past often do so to try and reassure us in the future or to, you know, create an image of the past which wasn't necessarily uh, what happened um, and I think you know we're not trying to do that we're trying to, to actually show it in all of its realistic um, you know nuances I, I suppose but but also as a thing I suppose you know I feel that it's easy to take peace for granted and it's difficult to imagine what the opposite is. And this, for me, was just a fantastic reminder the process of making it that you know, peace is not a given. You, know, you fight for it, and once you've got it, you fight to protect it. You know? And I think that's in, in, you know, in transient times, which we seem to be in, you know, that's a really useful um, reminder. Yeah. Fantastic cast as well, I mean, from top to bottom. Yeah, so young actors doing, doing you know, new I mean, what, can I, what can you say? I mean, they were just, and also I think you know none of them are the usual suspects, mm. which I really love about it. You know, so you you could cast it with a whole host of brilliant actors, but the ones that you might expect, and and you know we didn't do that, uh, and and it's just great that all of those fantastic actors came and committed themselves to these very different roles. Um, you know, Sam Claflin I think is extraordinary. Paul Bettany, you know, for me gives the performance I've wanted him to give for, you know, for a little while really. And, and Asa Butterfield playing, a, a, you know, a kind of man's role pretty much for the first time, having been a, you know, a child actor. And then with the, obviously the others, Toby Jones and Stephen Graham and Tom Sturridge. It, yeah, you know, what, 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 what's not to like really exactly, as yeah. a director. And for you as a director, I mean, what's next? Have you got your next project lined up? Or? Um, yeah, possibly. I can't confirm it, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, we're still waiting on, you know, final actors to agree but uh, yeah to me that I, I, I kind of loved the making of this film it was a very kind of liberating experience um, and we were given a lot of creative freedom to make it and never put on, under any pressure to make it kind of you know sentimental or unnecessarily manipulative we were allowed to just make a very powerful film in the, in the way that we wanted to do ladies and gentlemen you're watching Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, 